I keep coming back. What brought me to the SWP was Ann Waldman. And I was living in Western Massachusetts and I was uh, helping organize poetry readings up in uh, around Northampton, Massachusetts area. And one of the people I really wanted to uh, have come up there to read was Ann Walden. Um, I had always uh, appreciated and liked her work quite a bit. And uh, her history and her, her lineage with like uh, New York uh, School Poetics is something that always fascinated with me, uh, being a, a resident of New York City since uh, the 76, 77 time. And um, anyway, so I got her up there uh, in some capacity, and, and I was really uh, hoping to show off my library to her because I had been sort of archiving and collecting sort of underground poetry mags for years, and so I amassed quite a collection. And I was very fastidious in organizing it, and, and she came into my office, in, aka library, and she walked in there for maybe like, I don't know, like maybe a millisecond of a second and she came in and, and then she left and I was like, oh man, she didn't really even like, like look at anything. She just like came in and left. But something happened. She, she, uh, she saw everything within that millisecond and I think she realized that I was kind of seriously involved and engaged with um, poetry and studies on my own accord. And she started asking me if I'd be interested in teaching at SWP. And I was really preoccupied with Sonic Youth, touring a lot. I was like, this I mean, it's impossible. Um, as much as I'd love to do it. I mean, I come from a, a, a family of school teachers. My father was a, a, a university professor, and, um, and most people in my older family were, were in academics. So. I thought about it, but I was kind of the wild child. I was always out on the road playing rock and roll, and the idea of sort of like staying in one place and teaching seemed a little scary. And at some point, <clears throat> I said yes. I think I, I, I'll dedicate like a, a, I can find a week there in July to come, and and I and, and I, I think I first came here in um, I think 2010 or 11, I believe it was. And um, yeah, I mean, and I uh, I was just. I was entranced, you know. I mean, uh, the the uh, magnetic attraction of of Naropa was something I was so intrigued and curious by. I had flown out here years earlier to do a benefit for the archives, and I played a solo concert, and I, and I was walked through the campus uh, by Anne and Stephen Taylor was here, and and uh, they showed me uh, the whole layout, and yeah, it was years. And then years later, I came back here and taught. And um, and in a way, it's sort of like uh, I, I've been. I've, this is the fourth year I was asked back, and I make sure that I black out my schedule, no matter how uh, how crazy it is for me, uh, because it's. I think it's um, it it's it's good. <laughs> it's a good thing, and I think it's really good for the people who come here, and I feel good about it. And I think it's you know I real I realize like like how strong it is as a just as an example of doing something of shared energy and thought and just, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's scholarly for me to, to be here, you know, to, to be around these poets who've been working devotionally as poets for, for most of their, their lives. Um, so uh, I come here both as a student and a teacher, and that's how I feel. And so this year, uh, and I came a week earlier, and I, uh, I audited uh, Clark Coolidge's class on William Burroughs, um, knowing that I was my class was also going to deal with William Burroughs and his intersection with music culture, and and it was great. It was great, and Anne sat in the class as well because she had that week sort of down, and so this week Clark sat in my class, and so you know it's a little hard to explain like how. Um, fabulous it is to sort of be teaching a class and Clark Coolidge is sitting there in one of the <laughs> seats listening to you. <laughs> I never ha expected that, you know, that's like, that's like going over to like Jimi Hendrix's house and then giving him a guitar lesson or something. <laughs> it's just like, wait. <laughs> Great. Uh, you talked. Fabulous here, by the way. Are we doing okay? That was awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We talked about, or you talked about um, uh, some of the things that are great about it and you talked about the unique experience of Audio in class and you being in Clark's class and Clark being with you and um, tell us what is most valuable about Jack Kerouac School or SWP. Well, I think the fact that the Jack Kerouac School has a very sort of open library of um, of how to sort of put across ideas of not only 
uh, the practice of poetry and, and, and uh, its history of, um, you know, it, but also it allows you to sort of bring in um, other ideas and the precepts of, of sort of uh, uh, free thought, uh, Buddhist precepts, which are very sort of inherent with um, Naropa to begin with. And, but it, it's like, it's, to me, it's like, it's one of the most sort of non-judgmental sort of um, places of learning that I've ever experienced. Uh, and and it, it, it allows the, the teachers to sort of bring in what's, I think, most special for any student, is which is like their own personal experience. Um, and I found that out right away. I mean, the first year I was here, I mean, it's the one thing I realized that people wanted to hear was like how I, sort of got involved with like, as being an artist, doing music and writing and sort of what that means, um, regardless of um, any standard of success or ambition. It was, about, it was about the experience of it and the practice of it. And that's sort of, in a way, the, um, the real, you know, the real, I think the real sort of basis of any kind of lifestyle is that is like this understanding and sharing of experience, which you know, equates knowledge. So um, I think, you know, I think at the Jack Kerouac School, that's, um, that's what's encouraged as opposed to any sort of strict syllabus of academic and uh, whatever give and take that may be in more typical universities. And I think that's really special. I think that's really progressive and I think that should be sort of the future of, of teaching, at least that relationship between teacher and student. Great. Yeah. What would you say to recommend um, this program to other faculty, other students? and maybe to other performers such as yourself? There are so many writers and um, people in the arts that I talk about to, about Naropa, about Jack Kerouac School. And um, I, you know, I, I almost feel like I need my own wing just to sort of like <laughs> take care of all these people I, I think would be really great professors here. <laughs> um, and not just from the music world, but different writers that I know and people I know that have, um, maybe less sort of a connection to any kind of uh, academic world, but who are uh, wonderful thinkers and people who know um, so much about uh, sort of the craft of writing and, and other aspects of poetry. You know, the, um, I, I know people who, who are uh, amazing archivists, which I think is a big sort of, um, it's, it's a big part of the language of, of, of the Jack Kerouac School. So I mean, I, pres I pretty much talk the school up wherever I go, and you know, I, to me, it's just like it's just, it's a bit of a Shangri-La thing that you know I tell people about, and you know, being in Boulder and teaching, you know, in the middle of the summer, it's just like it's not, you know, I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. Um, but I, uh, I think in a way, like this, this, this whole new generation into their twenties and thirties, where um, coming out of this lineage that uh, I think are almost by osmosis have a lot of, um, get a lot of their information from people who come out of the Jack Kerouac School experience anyway, you know. I mean, I think they see it at the Poetry Project in New York, and I think, that I live in London, and I sort of see people ask me about it, you know. It's like, it's this really sort of mythic kind of thing, you know. They know, they know I, I've, I've, been, I've been teaching there, and so they'll grill me on it, like, well, yeah, what's, what's it like? And I was like, well, it's, you know, it's, you, have to, you have to be there. I can't, I can't even like, put it into words. <laughs> Which is what I'm, what I'm supposed to do, is put it into words, but, it's, uh, but I can't. <laughs> I'm just going to say that's what we're all about. <laughs> I, I know, we're all about yeah, words. We're I good. can't believe that. That is most awesome. We're all Thank about you. We oh, got yeah. all kinds of stuff there. Yeah. Oh, good, great. Would you like us to share the links? Excuse me? If we have your email, we can share links yeah, with you. Yeah, please so do, if yeah. you want them to. Yeah. We'll grab that.